I feel like with her hair just being like, just like to the side of her face, just coming down like this, um, it's giving me a certain vibe. I can't describe it. It's like a like a Greek, like this Greek. It looks like her name should be like Elga or 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 something like that like it's giving me one of those kind of vibe like a russian like a hardcore kind of look and i i don't know how i feel about that um but overall it's pretty though but it's definitely giving me a certain vibe um ooh so once again this person used byrito stuff on her face um for her hair they use a lot of amica um hair products her hairstylist is Malcolm Marquez and then um, her her makeup artist is Callie Kennedy. Now Yara Shahidi. Mm -hmm. Let's get into Miss Yara Shahidi's look. She looks so gorgeous. Oh my god, I love this. I gotta see what her ooh. Her look is inspired by 1920s Josephine Baker, which I feel like that being said, I think she hit it right on the head. Like she blew this out of the park. Well, not her, her hair and makeup artist, but yeah, they did a good job with this. So it says that her makeup artist her makeup artist used a lot of Dior products and her name is Emily Cheng. Um, it doesn't mention who her hairstylist is though, but let's go ahead and look at this look, like a closer look. I love the shawl over her hair. It's so regal, so beautiful. I love the little detail of her jewelry, her necklace and her headband. Um, it looks like literally diamonds in her headband with, um, not gold. This is not gold. This yellow stone. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but like framed around her face. She has a very golden undertone. So I feel like it's really just doing something for her. I love that one little swoopy curl, um, for her edge and i also love that they only did just that one in the center and didn't do like a bunch of other swoops because the curls framing her face i feel like doing like dramatic edges would have definitely like thrown that off so i love 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 that they kept it simple and it's regal i love 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 her complexion it's so smooth i love the dewy finish i love the blush placement it's definitely making her cheekbones look a lot more rounded and just like so structured and sculpted i love it i also love that they focus a lot of her eye color in the like the inner corner of her eye right here which is like it does something for her eye shape. I really love it. They did like a slightly thinner brows on her, which I love. Her lips are naturally pouty. And I love, love this lip color. It looks like a lip stain or something. Yes, I, I love it. I don't have a single bad thing to say about her look. So thumbs up to her glam team. Um, next we have Maisie Williams boy i'm just gonna make this really quick i hate her hair i hate her hair a lot it says that she is what she's in game of thrones nah who is she in game of thrones wait a second is this aya oh my god i hate that they did this to her Oh my god, I all of a sudden have so much more feelings towards this look now that I know who it is because I love her as a person. I hate that they did this to her though. They made her look so old. And I don't want to say old, but she definitely looks so mature with this whole look. The hair, I don't like it. It's definitely like out there and different, but I feel like it's different in a way that should be in probably like a hair show, you know, like where you want to show off like 
creativity and like weird non-traditional styles for the hair but i feel like for a red carpet i do not like this hair at all the top spirals that they did in the middle right here looks like a little snake sitting on her head and then the different textures on both sides one side looks like it's like wavy and then just like really pointy at the end and the other side looks like like ribbons i don't like it i don't like it at all um as far as her makeup goes i do like her eyes i love it i love her eyes I love the little one dot of eyeliner that they did underneath. So I love her entire eye look. I also love the fact that they didn't, um, I also love the fact that they didn't add any liner to her waterline. I feel like this look just with the one dot underneath instead of like putting it all through her waterline was perfect. That's exactly what this look needed. Um, I don't like her brows. I don't like it. I feel like it makes her forehead look more elongated and she has a round face and I just feel like it looks like all the makeup and everything is just like smushed in the center of her face and then there's just a lot of open real estate just all around. Yeah, like I feel like with her face shape, they could have definitely did a lot more to like give it some structure. They just really went dramatic with the eyes and then a deep lip color which draws attention to the center of her face. And then they they didn't bronze around her forehead enough. They didn't add enough blush. They didn't add enough like contour or anything on the cheeks. Even her chin area. It just all looks empty. So I don't like it. Um yeah whose her hairstyle is i don't think it mentioned yeah it doesn't mention who did her her work but um yeah i don't like it um it says that her vibe her um what do you call it her inspiration was a 90s inspired grunge grunge look it definitely is grungy but i just don't still like it um Amanda Gorman I don't know I don't like this at all the whole look in general I feel like it's giving me prom I don't like the jewels in the face I don't like any of it I don't have anything else to say about this look I really just don't like it um I'm gonna go ahead and move on um sweetie all right what is her inspiration sweetie do, 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 do. it says hollywood glam was her um inspiration here her hair was also slick back and flipped upwards just like um emma chamberlain i love that i get like i said that's really popular and trendy so i'm not surprised that we saw it again um her makeup artist was Neem, Stephanie Stephanie Nemo and Jason Hare and da, 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 da. and Jason Hare they use a lot of MAC um, products it seems like yeah everything they mentioned right here are all MAC products I like it let me zoom in I like it I like it a lot I feel like she looks really pretty oh I do love her hair now that I zoomed in and I can see that they have jewels in her hair all the way down like two rows of jewels com coming down her hair love 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 that I love the color of the hair with the darker roots I feel like it definitely goes well with her skin tone um and I also love her makeup everything looks smooth her makeup isn't definitely giving red carpet but it's definitely giving beautiful it's giving glam which i love glam so she checks the boxes for me she looks good um yeah that's it um this next girl is nia dennis wow i don't know who this girl is oh she's a gymnast she's a, is that how you pronounce that she's a gymnast wow she is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love her hair i love the braids i don't know how old she is but the braids definitely i feel like i want to say age appropriate because i feel like i'm assuming that she's on the younger side probably like 18 ish um 
she looks so adorable she looks adorable in in a youthful young fresh way but at the same time the makeup definitely has her looking not childlike so she doesn't look like oh you know like my kid sister but she doesn't look super old or mature either she definitely looks like she's very young at that peak age she looks beautiful full beautiful i love the gold accessories in her hair it goes very well with this cobalt blue the color of this blue is so rich and vibrant i am living for it this is what i mean by a red carpet look i feel like this stands out so much that i feel like every photographer that got a picture of her would definitely want to post it you know, they, they will want to post that, oh wow, like look at this look. It's a look that, that captures your attention. I love the blush placement here. It seems like it was more so focused on the, the high points of her cheeks and then her contour was more focused back here. It goes very well for that, um, that pear shaped face that she has. Her eyes look so gorgeous. I love this blue. And then I love how they kept it very simple with the lips. Um, peach, very excellent choice um, to go with this blue. Just beautiful. I Beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, next we have Kia Gerber. Or Kaya Gerber. Wow, she looks really, really, really beautiful as well. Wow, what's... It's weird that they say American fashion, but it's not weird because I did say that this is the vibe that I get. But I'm actually really surprised that everybody so far seems like they was they're doing throwback looks. She paid homage to Bianca Jagger, which I don't know who that is, but it, this is her take on a classic Hollywood glam. Nina Park was in charge of her makeup, and Guido Pala took care of her hair. Wow. She looks stunning. She looks so good. So good. Oh my god, I love her brows. Wow. Wow. See, this, as much as this look is so simple, I feel like this is the look that Billie Eilish's stylist and stuff was going for. That barely there, just, just beautiful. Like, I'm not even trying. I just look like this type of look. But she executed excellently. Like, everything is on point here. Her hair, I feel like it being pulled back out of her face definitely helps you to focus on just her beauty. Her brows are so like structured, they're feathered, but you can definitely tell that they're done. They look so good. Her eyes, I can definitely tell that she is wearing some type of eye product here. She's definitely wearing some shadow, but it's very minimal. It's basically just there to just play up on the shape of her eye just to bring it forward a little bit. So it's not like completely just lost, just looking like there's nothing there. They um, may, it looks like they did lashes, but just like very simple and just, they didn't line the bottom line, which I feel like this barely their look suits her very well her lip shape and lip color speechless i'm freaking speechless I, I just love this look i love this look she just wow i love this she looks like she has a face that you would love to advertise your work as a makeup artist i love her hair so much too i love the placement of everything that little curl just right around her eye it draws your attention to her cheekbone which is friggin phenomenal like i'm sorry for my french but her cheekbone the way the light is hitting her cheeks right here beautiful like Whoever took this photo, whoever did her hair, her makeup, her black dress, it's just all stunning. I love it. Love it. Now, this is making it hard for me because now I don't even know if I have a favorite anymore. There's just so many wonderful looks. Oh my god, Whitney Peak. Whitney Peak. Oh my gosh. So what is her inspiration? It says that um, she also went for a standout neon green eyeliner. I wonder why multiple people did this neon green look um oh in a crystal moment courtesy of tyron 
Umachasen, who you should know. And then her hair was done by Nima Lafond using Amica. Oh, yes. Oh, and it says that she's using heat free hair extensions. So she's definitely wearing extensions. I love the hair. Once again, I love that they did the big hair. Love, 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 love it. I feel like this is definitely like 80s inspired. The fact that they did a fro as well. Um, wow, I love it. It looks very good. Like I said, even though they did a fro here, I can tell that it is also structured because you can tell how it comes out, but then it comes in like this kind of like to frame her face. You see what that did there? That shape, it really just creates a nice little bedding for her face to be like, look what I behold. You know, like that's that vibe that it's giving me her face is giving i love that that green liner is literally just so much of a pop but then they basically did nothing else her foundation looks like it's barely there i don't even know if she's wearing blush because i can't tell and then i because of the hair i can't obviously i can't see any structure so there's no like heavy contours or bronzing or anything like that her brows are even like just barely peeking through as well but from the little that i can see i love them i love the muted cool tone pink that they did with the lip very 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 beautiful like yes i think she looks good she looks really good all right Ugh god shikari richardson mm. i'm gonna try to not read her to filth because of how i feel about her but let me just keep it truthful here her makeup is pretty her makeup is pretty and her hair is laid she looks like she's going to the club though like i'm not gonna lie like her hair and makeup looks like like a girl's night out and she's going out with her friends. That's what it looks like to me. It doesn't look like red carpet. Um, I love how it's sleek back, pulled back away from her face though. It really does show that she has a very pretty face. I love her brows. I really do love her brows. Um, yeah, like I said, the makeup look is very like, just like, you know, a girl's night out. Like, I just, I look beautiful. It doesn't look very done up which is okay uh the eye makeup suits her eye shape very 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 well i love that they did a wing but they didn't make it too big to where it took away from her lid space i love that a lot yeah i think she looks good as much as i would love to roast her um i'm not gonna lie i do like her look so thumbs up um, it doesn't say anything about who her stylist is or anything. It literally just says that she put on her slickest wig for the event. They could have did better than that with a description. But maybe they don't know who did her style. But she looks good. Now, Paloma Elsesser. Hmm. 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 Hold on one second, one moment.